Hello, everybody, and welcome back. As always, I am Mateo311, and this is your channel for everything VR related. Today, we are checking out the Roguelite Bullet Hell Weapon Constructing Wave Shooter Mother Gunship Forge. Now, I like to front load these videos with my opinion right out of the gate, and Mother Gunship is an absolute blast to play and has dethroned Space Pirate Trainer as my new favorite wave shooter. Before we go any further, make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you can learn how to win a copy of this game or any other quest title of your choice. Now, there are links and timestamps included in the description if you want to jump ahead to a specific topic but from here we'll continue with my spoiler free review format followed by some gameplay and let's start things off with the summary mother gunship forge releases this thursday june 16th for both pc vr via steam and on the meta quest 2. it's aptly priced at 19.99 and is a built from the ground up vr version of the flat mother gunship title that released back in 2018. while mother gunship forge is quite similar to its flat screen counterpart it's missing some elements, locomotion, and overall complexity. It does, however, feature both a single-player campaign and a one-on-one -on -one PvP multiplayer gauntlet mode. Unfortunately, that mode isn't cross-platform, so you'll be limited to either your Steam or Quest friends. In normal roguelite fashion, each run of Mother Gunship is unique, and every time you die, you start all over. Now, there are a few elements exclusive to this title, namely the ability to slap over 100 different gun parts together and the option to choose your out throughout the levels, prioritizing different resources to collect. Purple crystals are used to unlock overall game progression, including weapons, game modes, challenges, and power-ups. All other resources and items are run-specific and have the potential to widely change your experience. A little luck and correct choices can make a huge difference in your overall power level. Creating new weapons is one of the best features in this title, and guns consist of four major elements, barrels, caps, canisters, and sockets. Sockets are uniquely shaped connection points, allowing you to add additional items. They're not glamorous, but absolutely necessary. And the one rule is barrels need to point forward to be able to shoot. Now, barrels will control the type of bullets you're firing, such as lasers, rockets, spike balls, grenades, and many other wild options, including melee weapons. Caps have unique attributes that can significantly modify your weapon or even add armor and lower the price of store items. And finally, canisters modify your bullets by adding special power-ups like chain lightning or ricochet. Now, the overall gameplay length of this title is not very long. A complete run can actually be completed in under an hour, especially if you're on easy mode, but much like Space Pirate Trainer, this title is intended for maximum replayability and unlocking everything this game has to offer will take multiple hours. So now that you know the basics, let's jump into my opinion of this title, which I've already stated has been a complete blast. Now, walking into this, I was already a huge fan of the flat screen version of Mother Gunship and the VR wave shooter Space Pirate Trainer. This title basically slaps them both together and gives you a reason to keep coming back. The tutorial takes a few minutes to explain the basics, and then it becomes Murderbot Central, where the difficulty and bullet helliness slowly amps up. There's three epic bosses to face off against, and in between all of that, you're going to be creating some crazy weapons and updating them plus your health and armor as much as possible along the way. I enjoyed every single minute of it, and an hour or so can absolutely fly by. The PvP gauntlet is a nice change of pace, letting you compete for bragging rights and the leaderboard while still collecting gems and unlocking additional components to this game. The title feels priced correctly at $19.99, but there were a few elements that I really wanted to see included in this title. The flat screen version of Mother Gunship has a high emphasis on locomotion, which is most likely faster paced than the average VR user would have been able to handle, but Mother Gunship Forge almost does a full 180, and you're limited to a small circular play area. You can slowly move around via free locomotion, or you can enable dashing, and finally you could play it like Space Pirate Trainer, utilizing room scale locomotion. The bullet hell reminded me a bit of Yuki, as you will have to occasionally duck and move to the side to avoid bullets, but it's definitely comparatively toned down and only absolutely necessary against the bosses. Now, the flat version of Mother Gunship also has much more of a storyline and a larger range of unlockables, but there's definitely enough here to have you coming back for 10 to 20 hours, not including the PvP. So clearly, I enjoyed every aspect of this game, which helps to answer our next question, do I recommend it? I know a lot of people are tired of wave shooters in VR, and they're looking for something with more depth. Unfortunately, we're not getting those titles, and Mother Gunship is no different. That being said, though, if you're just looking for a fun new shooter, it's a really easy recommendation. If you've previously enjoyed titles like Space Pirate Trainer and Yuki, go ahead and put Mother Gunship Forge on your list. 
It's also a great option if you're looking to casually compete against people online. Since you're not directly shooting at one another, but rather just trying to kill robots quicker than your opponent, the overall competition feels quite relaxed. You're also dealing with an element of luck here, as you don't know what weapons and upgrades you will be receiving, so it's all about just having a good time. Now, if you're looking for story-driven content or a large variety in enemies and levels, you'll probably be disappointed. So let's jump into that overall verdict. Mother Gunship Forge is an excellent roguelite wave shooter that will keep you coming back for more. The gun crafting makes every single run exciting, and when you need a change of pace, you can jump online for some 1v1 action. It's ideal for people just looking for a fun shooter, and previously enjoyed titles like Yuki and Space Pirate Trainer, just don't expect a story-driven campaign, or a large amount of level-based content. The pros include excellent gun building mechanics, plenty of replayability, and some addictive fast-paced combat. The cons include a small overall overall level of content, including only three levels and bosses. Multiplayer is lacking cross-platform, so if you play on PC VR and want to join a quester or vice versa, you won't be able to. Now, overall, I do recommend the game. It is a lot of fun. I'm just hoping they add some additional content over time. Okay, so before we jump into some gameplay, I mentioned the fact that you could win this title or any other quest game of your choice because today's video is sponsored by Discronia Kronos Alternate, and they're running a huge giveaway on their Discord. There's a link down in the description where you can join and enter and learn more about their exciting upcoming title, Discronia, where you take on the role of an inspector who has the ability to manipulate the past and is faced with solving a mysterious crime in a utopian world where crime is not a possibility. In order to accomplish your goal, you'll have to jump between the dream world and reality. So if you're interested in finding out more, go check out the link down in the description. But for now, let's get back to some gameplay. Okay, so here I'm showing off the main menu, and as I collect more and more crystals with each run, I'm unlocking new upgrades and even different game modes. You'll start with a limited number of weapon parts, and eventually work your way up to 115 unique parts, all of which extremely alter the gameplay and are just pretty damn cool. Go to uh, my progress and look at the gun parts on the left. Gun parts for days! You'll occasionally have the option to go into challenge rooms, which are double the risk, but also double the reward. This is definitely where the game gets a lot more bullet helly, just like when you're facing off against the bosses. This is getting a little overwhelming here. Just getting my fist to cups ready. This is a combat challenge, so you see they've, they've upped. He's healing them. Oh no, not good. Okay, you gotta stop healing that guy. No. All right, not gonna let it happen. I'm getting it. Come on. Now this is one of those four mentioned bosses and don't yell spoiler at me for this one because you'll see this guy in the tutorial. Oh geez, hey, whoa, hey, hey, that's too close. Right, he gets up in your grill. Yeah, like really quick. Whoa, sword blade guy. Here you can see I'm upgrading my weapon and where you place items actually makes a big difference. Canisters connect to the closest barrel. I would recommend against putting something like bounce on rockets because then you'll miss out on their AOE damage and bounce is much more suited for something like shotgun shells. Where's this one? Coffee canister, speed, bounce. Uh, oh yeah, definitely. Hell yeah. All right, we're gonna up uh, upgrade the spike launcher. The weapons also have a huge variety in things like spread, bullet speed, overall damage, and fire rate. So based on your luck, you can end up with a weapon that's OP for your current run or severely underpowered. Okay, so let's round out this video with a little bit of multiplayer action of me kicking Reese the King's ass multiple times. Wow, you sneaky little bugger. Wow, shield generated incredibly hard aim. <laughs> Am I dead? I'm yep. dead! Good luck, mate. Please, sir. It's, oh, big cannon in the middle. Oh, no. Yeah, I couldn't dodge that. There was just no oh dodging it. Well, here it comes. Uh, uh, no, don't do me like that. <laughs> I told you, good luck dodging that. That's when the shield is necessary, right? 
Heavy weapon unlocked. I'm a seasoned recruit. Woo woo! All right. So, mate, look at our guns. I know. Look at them. That look, thing. Find all of them. I, I'm not gonna lie. That thing I've seen used in some. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. That was today's review of Mother Gunship. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you guys on next time.